Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of an under the hood transformation on the daily. It's one of the last little things that I haven't really put my touch on. This car is really clean. We've done a ton to it and we've had a lot of fun with it in the past, but that's just one thing I never got around to. The engine bay on this thing is absolutely disgusting. So today we're not only gonna get it cleaned up, but we're gonna have some fun, paint some things and uh, make it look really cool. But definitely first things first, this thing needs to be cleaned. It is disgusting. It has never been cleaned. As you can see, you can tell. <laughs> so that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to mask off a bunch of stuff and go ahead and clean this all out. I'm going to take you guys along and kind of show you the process because I know people have asked me about that in the past. Then we're going to take a few bits out and paint them because you know we got to do it. We are going to be using the new pressure washer on the engine. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about doing that, but I'll talk about that in a minute. First thing we gotta do is mask off a few things. As you can see, I already got a bag down there, kind of on the alternator, just kind of stuffed it over it, way down in there. That's where the alternator is on these cars. I got one stuffed here over the PCM, and we're gonna stick one more right over here over our fuse block and our TIPM. Three electronic pieces that we do not want to get a lot of water all over. These plastic grocery bags work perfect for masking that off. And now with those covered up, we should be good. I'm just gonna throw something over the battery and then we can get started degreasing. That's all that I ever bother to mask off. And I've done this a few times. And I also know people who have done things like hose out their engine bay and then uh, short out their alternator and have it explode on them and things like that. So I definitely know the potential of what you can do wrong <laughs> in a situation like this. But those are the main things I take care of. And then once we're completely done cleaning this, I'm gonna give it plenty of time to dry out and air out. And uh, I'm not gonna start it right away or anything like that. I'm gonna give things time to dry up a little bit. And I'm doing this on a nicer day as well. And that's on purpose. And uh, also make sure things like this the spark plug boots are sealed correctly and that there's no water gonna get in any place that it normally wouldn't but everything looks good and I can't see anything obvious so I'm not worried about it and I usually don't worry about the starter I probably should but again I'm gonna let it dry for a while before I try to crank that and the starter is positioned where it isn't uncommon for it to get a little bit of moisture on it so it looks like we're good to go let's go ahead and uh, get this cleaning started I have a few different things that I'm gonna be using to clean this throughout the process, but to start things out, I'm gonna use some of this purple power degreaser. I actually buy this stuff in gallon jugs and refill sprayers now because I use it so much around the shop just for everything. From cleaning things to floor mats, to engine bays, to car parts, to just literally everything in the shop. I use this stuff and it works really well and it's safe on a lot of different surfaces too. So I'm just gonna start out by just spraying everything out here in the open down with some of this. Kind of just give everything a light coating and that's going to help break up everything and then when we hit it lightly with the power washer everything will be more broken up and it will clean off super super easily Something you might notice that I do when I'm pressure washing is I try to stay back a little bit from everything so that I'm not just injecting water into a lot of places it shouldn't be. Just kind of gently going over and rinsing everything down. Some places I'm a little bit more direct and other places I'm not as direct. Got our first initial cleaning done and that took care of a lot of our main nastiness. But in order to take things a step further, I have some soapy wooter right here mixed up. Just a few drops of like a dish soap kind of stuff. Dish soap is really good at degreasing. A few drops of that in with some water mixed up in a normal spray bottle and I'm going to use that with some microfibers to go ahead and kind of wipe our main areas down and get things just a little bit cleaner. <laughs> 
All right, got her pulled in the shop. I gave it a few hours. Go ahead and kind of air dry a little bit and uh, start it up and let it run for a little bit and let it warm up to continue to help dry things up a little bit. And now everything is looking pretty clean. Looks way, way better. We could stop, honestly, at this, maybe touch up a few little things, but we're gonna go with the next step for sure. There's a few things I wanna touch up, like I want to clean up the PCM a little bit, and the battery, and some of the stuff that we couldn't clean up really with the power washer. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. But what I'm gonna get done tonight is I'm gonna go ahead and take our intake manifold off, since it is so easy to remove this, and since the plastic intake manifold cars had rubber uh, gaskets in them instead of the like paper composite whatever gaskets, like, like those cars do it's no problem to remove it you there's really no risk of damaging the gasket just by removing it and putting it back on so we're gonna go ahead and yank it off real quick we got five bolts i think right here one little bolt back here that um holds it uh up and kind of braces it and then three little bolts here in the throttle body a couple wires comes right out and uh this is like the focal point of the engine bay so that's usually the best thing to kind of clean up and customize and make your own so that's what we're gonna do next 12 seconds later. And about 10 minutes later, we got our whole intake out. <laughs> I'm gonna clean this up a little bit better now that it's out of the car and especially underneath. I'm gonna give it a little wipe down with some good stuff. And I'm also probably gonna give our valve cover a quick little wipe down and a little cleanup since I can, since it's the part, but I cannot wait to give this thing a little paint job. This is gonna be so cool. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite solution, not only for cleaning things up as like paint prep and making sure they're ready, to be painted, but I'm also going to use it to carefully clean our electronics. All this is, is a 50-50 mix of water and rubbing alcohol. I get the, I think it's like the 90% or whatever you can just get at the store, rubbing alcohol, and I mix it 50-50 with water, and it works perfect for things like that, getting the last little bit of contaminant off. You're going to paint something like our intake manifold, and alcohol obviously dries, and works pretty good to clean up little things like our PCM and stuff like that. Alright guys, I think I finally made my decision, and this is the paint that we're going to be spraying the intake manifold with. It's a hammered finish Rust-Oleum. You can kind of see what it will look like when it's dried. It looks similar to that. It gives it kind of a crinkly look. It's not actual crinkle paint. The main thing is, is a very, very close match to our wheel dip, which is kind of cool. Not only will it hide small imperfects, but if it's applied right, it's actually really sturdy stuff. It'll hold up to quite a bit. I've used it on stuff before, and it's pretty awesome. So that's what we're going to give a shot here on the intake manifold. I already gave things a oh, one last little wipe down and clean up. Just waiting for it to perfectly dry and then we can shoot it. Our paint job is done. I gave it a few hours to cure up some more and it looks really, really cool. It's definitely not quite the same shade as the wheels. It's a little bit darker and more of a burnt color, but I think, especially with it being up here in the engine, you won't notice it a ton and it is just gonna be a really cool little touch. The hammered finish gives it a really cool little look and something different and I think it's gonna be perfect. I think it's gonna look really cool under the hood, but I really wanna get this cleaned up a little bit and I think this ended up being perfect. So without further ado, let's go ahead and throw this thing back in the car and see how it looks completed.
nothing more fun than filming in the rain. I didn't expect the weather to uh, take this much of a turn today, but hey, it could be worse. It could be snowing. It could be really cold. It feels good, man. It feels good. Happy spring. I'm super excited with the way that the engine bay turned out. It looks 20 times better. And we basically did the whole job for free. It was all stuff that I had here. I didn't buy any fancy aftermarket dress up parts or anything. We just cleaned up what we had, did a little bit of painting with the intake manifold to make it pop. And it looks brand new. So I'm super excited with the way that turned out. And it's been something I've wanted to get done for a long time. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little video on it. I'm not sure it was probably not the longest video. It was a little bit simple. I know not everybody gets into that style of content, but it's fun for me. I love doing that kind of stuff and making those videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this one but for the next one guys the next episode on this car is going to be wild we're going to be doing the whole timing stuff <laughs> like i said before we're doing timing belt the movie <laughs> as you can hopefully see here we've already uh already been making quite a bit of progress I'm having so much fun working on this car and getting all of this done if you guys haven't seen the last episode on that i will be sure to put a link up in the corner but even still we always have little things that need to get done on the daily this was a fun video but we have some other issues we need to take care of. I just found out today that my defrost is barely working and my windows started to fog up when the car was running earlier. And already for the last couple months probably, these have actually been broken and they have not been blowing out. There's all the blend doors up in here and up through here, if you pop the glove box out, you can get access to the little valves and where the cables all meet up and control everything. And I remember messing with it in the past, but they keep getting stuck. So I think we're gonna have to take that apart, figure out our blend door issues, but that'll be some cool videos in the future. I've also been waiting on the spacers i have custom spacers that are on the way after we had issues with our old spacers i decided to go all out but everything has been so delayed especially because they're custom made and because of the covid stuff other than that that car is in good shape i've got to check all my fluids because we're going to be making a road trip tomorrow in that car i think and um probably buying the next project car i'm just gonna i'm just gonna tell you guys because i'm really excited for what we found. I've been teasing you guys back and forth. I've been messing with you guys in the live streams about what I might or might not be buying. This is something a little different, but it's something that'll be perfect here on the channel. So hopefully this all goes well. God is good. What can I say? Everything is gonna work out. So be sure to go smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and if you are excited for the future of the videos coming, especially for this thing. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an awesome day. You rock. God bless you guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.